Since the completion of the 2023 general elections, attention has shifted to the courts that are deciding the petitions arising from the elections. The following is a list of such state governors and the grant given by the court for their sack. 1. Abba Kabir Yusuf, NNPP. The NNPP received 1,019,602 votes to defeat APC, whose candidate Nasi Kawuna received 890,705 votes in Kanu, according to INEC. As a result, the NNPP candidate won by a margin of 128,897 votes. The Elections Petition Tribunal, under the leadership of Justice Oluyemi Osadebe, invalidated the election of Kuna Yusuf. The tribunal made the decision by declaring 165,063 votes Kana by Yusuf invalid. The ballot papers for the 165,063 votes were not signed or stamped according to the judge, and thus were invalid. The court ordered that Yusuf certificate of return be revoked and that a fresh one be issued to Kawuna. The court of appeal in Abuja also upheld the tribunal's decision. The three-man panel, led by Justice M.A. Adume, determined that Yusuf was not on his political party's membership list. He stated that a party must hold the names of its registered members in both hard and soft copies, citing a clause of the Electoral Act. The judge stated that the tribunal erred in failing to disqualify Yusuf in East Rolling. He said, and I quote, The tribunal was wrong not to disqualify him. The failure to comply with Section 177C is fatal to their election. Where a party carelessly nominates a candidate, such is a nullity irrespective of whether he performs well or not. Sponsorship without membership is like putting nothing on something. It cannot stand. This is a clear example of acting with brazen impunity as if the constitution is not binding. He heard. Yusuf has, however, vowed to reclaim his mandate at the FS Court, the Supreme Court. Number two. Abdullah Hissule, APC. The Nasarawa State Election Petitions Tribunal sat the State Governor Abdullah Hissule in October 2023 and ordered INEC to revoke his certificate of return and give it to David Ambugadu of the PDP. Ambugadu had taken Sule to court to contest INEC's announcement of Sule as the winner of the election. He told the tribunal that his actual votes were unfairly lowered while Sule of the APC's votes were boosted to help him win, notably in the EC8Bs of Gayam and Chiroma wards of Lafayette local government area. The tribunal, led by Justice Ezekiel Ajay, in his decision, deducted the incorrect votes added to Sule and added back the votes which were reduced from the overall votes of David and Bugadi. The decision was based on the certified copies of the polling unit results from EC8A that were presented by the petitioners. The Court of Appeals sitting in Abuja on Wednesday, November 15, reserved judgment on the appeal. Number 3. Dada Lawal, PDP. INEC had declared Dada Lawal of the PDP as the winner of the Zanfara State Conishpe election, defeating the incumbent governor Bilo Matawale of the APC. Matawale had filed a case with the tribunal contesting the results of the election on March 18, but it was dismissed due to lack of merit. The Court of Appeal issued a decision on Thursday, November 16, declaring the election inconclusive and ordering INEC to hold new elections in the local government areas. According to the appellate court, Matawale, who is currently the Minister of State for Defense, was able to establish Lawas' invalid election. The governor, in a statement by his spokesperson, Suleiman Idris, said his legal team was reviewing the judgment before taking the next necessary action. He has since vowed to go to the Supreme Court to retrieve his uh, mandate. 
Number four, Caleb Mufwank, PDP. Then Tawe Goshwe of the APC challenged the victory of Caleb Mufwank at the tribuna in Plateau State, claiming that the governor was not fully nominated and sponsored by his party. The Tema member panel of the tribuna headed by Justice R. Irel Ifije in a unanimous decision dismissed the petition of Goshwe for lacking merit. The Tema member panel of the APEC court led by Justice Alfreda William Dawudu ruled on Sunday, November 19, that the governor was not legitimately sponsored by the PDP for the election. So the section 177 of the constitution, he therefore notified his uh, election. From Lagos, this is Isaac Omona, News Express, Nigerian Television.